Tonight, we commemorate Pioneer Day. 172 years ago, with faith manifest in every footstep, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints crossed the great western plains of North America by ox team and covered wagon. On July 24, 1847, they descended through Emigration Canyon and began to build a community of faith. And on that auspicious day, the words of Isaiah began to be fulfilled. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. and gentlemen, please welcome internationally renowned soloist and recording artist, Sissel. Seeing long for God. 
become entwined, playing games within my mind, like the embers as they die. Love was one prolonged goodbye, and it all comes back to me. Thank you very much. It is wonderful to be here with you and with this inspiring choir and orchestra. I just have to say, I love to sing with you. And I love to sing from my heart to you. Coming back to Salt Lake City, I've learned this time a little about the pioneers who came from the Nordic and the Scandinavian countries, including my homeland, Norway.
So there are some Norwegians here. Oh, nice. <laughs> About the time the pioneers were making their journey, the Danish hymn, Daily Arjuren, was written. Soon, it was sung all over the world. You know it as Beautiful Savior. In 2002, the Norwegian composer Frode Fjallheim composed this arrangement based on Norwegian Aborigines culture, which inspired the musical opening of the movie Frozen. Yeah, that was something you didn't know. <laughs> well, just hearing it, you can imagine those Nordic pioneers singing as they drove their wagons and pulled their handcarts west.
Ich weit i Himmerik ei Borg. Or in English, I know in heaven a castle. This is a song, well, this song is a prayer of a weary traveler, a prayer for protection and peace. It's a kind of prayer that a day saint pioneers must have offered as they faced their own storms of adversity. In 1885, in Sweden, Karl Broberg was caught in a fierce storm while walking home from church. He hurried to shelter, and soon the sky cleared and a rainbow appeared. When he arrived home, he opened a window and looked out toward the sea. And he could hear in the distance the church bells ringing. The storm had been great, but the peace that came after was even greater. That night, he sat down and he wrote the hymn how great thou art. It's a hymn that still brings comfort to pioneers and pilgrims, to people everywhere who endures the storms of life. Thy ord in vat 
midst of my confusion in the time of desperate need when I'm thinking not too clearly a gentle voice does In the time of tribulation When I'm feeling so unsure When things are pressing in about me Comes a gentle voice
Thank you so much. That song, Slow Down, describes an experience many of us have. To be able to hear the still voice in our hearts, we have to slow down. But then, what we hear, what we feel inside, often inspires us to get up and get going. <laughs> yes. In American gospel music, the symbol of moving forward with faith is a train ride. So, get ready, everyone. The gospel train is coming.
reach out for heaven's glory that appears this winter night like a never Thank you. You might find it a little bit strange to hear a new, in fact, a brand new, New Year's Eve song with 100 degrees outside and being in the middle of July. But we can look at it as today is a new start. We know that true pioneers hunger for freedom and that new start. They want freedom to go to new places and to create something new. This week, as I've heard about the amazing pioneers who came here, I've learned that they sought freedom to make a new home. A home where everyone could join hands and live in harmony. Creating that kind of community isn't easy. But remembering the pioneers who came before can give us the courage to try. Happy Pioneer Day, everyone. Together, most 
gracious God, whose mercy lends the light of home, the smile of friends, are gathered from thine arms unfold, as in the peaceful days of old, will the